Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're going to learn how to convert a decimal to a fraction. Start with a simple number 0 0.8, which means you have zero whole units plus you have eight tenths of a unit. So we call that eight tenths. So that's how we write it as a fraction, eight over 10. So we write this zero plus eight divided by 10. So eight tenths written in the decimal really means eight over 10 as a fraction. Since we add zero to that, this is simply 8 divided by 10, and that can be simplified. 8 divided by 2 is 4, 10 divided by 2 is 5, so when we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2, we get 4 fifths. Our next example is 0 0.5. Again, that means it's 0 plus 5 tenths. Well, 5 tenths can be simplified by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 10. Well, first, let's add 0 to that. We get 5 divided by 10. When we divide the numerator by 5, we get 1. Divide the denominator by 5, we get 2. Which means that 0 0.5 is the same as 5 tenths, or it simplifies to 1 half. 0 0.5 is the same as 1 half. The next number, 2.4, means we have two whole units, plus we have 4 tenths, 4 divided by 10. We can simplify 4 divided by 10 by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2. This can be written as 2 plus 2 fifths, and we can write that as a mixed number as 2 and 2 fifths. Well, we can also convert a mixed number into a improper fraction. How do we do that? We multiply the whole number by the denominator and add it to the numerator. This can be written as 2 times 5 plus 2 divided by 5, which is 10 plus 2, or 12 divided by 5. If you're wondering what I just did, let me show you. Let me explain how we can simplify that when we convert what we call a mixed number into an improper fraction. This can also be written as 2 plus 2 fifths. And then we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator, because when we write a whole number 2, this is basically 2 divided by 1. And then we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So I'm do that in red. And let me move this up just a little bit because I like, to be, I like that to be even. So 2 over 1. So instead of writing 2, I can write as 2 over 1 plus 2 fifths, just like we did here. But now we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator here, which is 5. Notice when we multiply times 5 over 5, that's like multiplying by 1. Nothing has changed. Now this becomes 10 over 5 plus 2 over 5, which is equal to 12 over 5. Again, what we did here was go from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Now that we've seen how we do this, let me show you a trick that my wife used to use when she taught our kids how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. It's actually a pretty neat trick. Let's say we have a mixed number. 2 and 2 fifths. It showed our kids was as follows. You put a little multiplication sign at the bottom here and a little plus sign at the top. Now what you do is you multiply 2 times 5 and add 2 to that and write that in the numerator. So this becomes 2 times 5 which is 10 plus 2 which is 12 and you divide it by the denominator 5. So that's how you very quickly turn a mixed number into an improper fraction. Pretty slick, huh? Now let's try it over here with this number, and I need a little bit more room. So 14.3 is equal to, well, first of all, we write it as 14 plus 3 tenths, therefore 3 divided by 10. Now we can write that as a mixed number, 14 and 3 tenths. And again, our little trick here, we write a little multiplication sign at the bottom and a little plus sign at the top. This now becomes 14 times 10. Well, we simply add a zero. 14 times 10 is 140, plus 3. That gives us 143 divided by the denominator 10. And that's how we convert a decimal into either a mixed number or a improper fraction. That's how it's done.